Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 BMW M6 Grand Coupe sedan. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Blending the utility of a sedan, the style of a coupe, and the appetite for speed of a sports car, the 2019 BMW M6 Grand Coupe serves many disciples. It's capable of transporting the family in luxury and delivering hair-raising performance in equal measures. Compared to the regular 6 Series Grand Coupe, the M6 version becomes a thoroughbred by way of a 560 horsepower V8 or an optional 600 horsepower, right? A quick-shifting 7-speed dual-clutch transmission and sport-tuned suspension, wheels, and brakes. You can even get a manual transmission if you want. So you heard that right, 560 horse, 500 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60, in as quick as 4.1 seconds, that's probably with the uh, launch control. The car probably doesn't hook up like that at the stoplight without doing launch control. Um, it is a powerhouse. I love this car right now. As of this video, this is my favorite car. I think this is the hottest car on the street and the perfect car for me. That's why we're going to do this build in price. We're going to go through the highlights. We're going to go through the performance, the packages. We're going to look at model specs. But real quick, we're, as we go through this highlight page, I'm going to talk about what's new. We're going to think about the talk about that MSRP, MS uh, pros and cons, and what I think, how I think you should option your M6 Grand Coupe should you be in the market for one or just interested in one. There's a couple new things that are new for 2019. One, Apple CarPlay is now is now includes a subscription service with the first year free. So they're not giving you Apple CarPlay like they used to. You get it one year free when you buy the car new, and then it's subscription service after that. All right. And really, actually, that's really the only update, honestly, because this 6 Series Grand Coupe, it came out in 2013, and this is the same design. They haven't had a major redesign of the Grand Coupe, although I think it's beautiful, right? They say right here, enviable curves, low stance, long hood, perfectly sloped windshield. It is gorgeous. Look at it. And they're showing it with the optional carbon ceramic brakes. How do you know that? You know that because this uh, brake caliper is in gold. Speaking of which, there's a good shot of the caliper right there in gold, the carbon ceramic. So it says, the mark of M, pride and performance. The signature of M engineering is evident everywhere in this high-performance four-door. From performance components like the optional M carbon ceramic brakes to the distinctive blue and red of the badge. The M6 was born of the world of motorsport, or for the world of motorsport. Yeah, it starts at... The MSRP is $119,900, so yeah, motorsport is expensive. Uh, let's talk about some pros and cons and move on to the next little spot on this highlight pane. So here they're reiterating this, uh, this serious horsepower. Yeah, with launch control, it says, the V8 engine, and I told you that in the beginning. I hadn't looked at this page prior to us uh, videoing this together. Uh, with launch control, the V8 engine can achieve maximum acceleration from a standing start. That means all 560 horses and 500 pound-feet of torque are ready to go as soon as you release the brakes. And that's how you're probably going to achieve that 0-60 to 60 of 4.1 seconds. Now, as awesome as this car is, as ground-shaking as it is, every vehicle has pros and cons. Here's three pros. Well, we already know. The engine makes exceptional power, right? What you probably know, if you're, if you're watching this video, you probably already know a little bit about the, Grand, uh, the M6 Grand Coupe. So this next one should be no surprise. The interior is richly trimmed and well-equipped. That's another pro. And number three, front seats offer impressive support and comfort. You might not know that one. Here they're talking about the exhaust, full-throated. Nothing sounds quite like it. A beautiful quad, quad bank exhaust brings a powerful sporting look to the M6. And while innovations in the engine effectively cut emissions, the exhaust still adds performance presence with potential bass-driven engine sound that packs a deep punch. Well, yeah, they pipe a little engine noise into the cabin via the speakers. And I think it's, I don't know if it's artificial noise or if it's uh, the real deal. I can't remember. One way or the other, I'd rather just hear the real sound, but I'm sure it sounds amazing. Here's a nice look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cabin. Awe-inspiring interior, they call it. 
uh, with the power front seats in merino leather, standard carbon fiber, or optional wood trim. So it comes standard with carbon fiber. I did not know that. And Harman Kardon is the standard system, which is still going to pump bump, but we want to get the upgrade stereo, and we will. Uh, you, might, you might forget you're in an M until you switch on the engine. Nice. Okay, so we see how gorgeous the interior is, but I didn't, um, I didn't mention the cons. Let's talk about the cons. There's just a few, and, you know, it is what it is. Number one, command significant premium over the M5s of which it's based. Yeah, essentially, the M6 is an M5. But I, what I heard was that the M6 does get different tuning than the M5, which is why even though they are the same, they are different. So here they're talking about uh, performance control, call your own shifts. The M double clutch transmission with drive logic provides instantaneous automatic track inspired shifts or choose the optional six speed manual transmission available for the purists. Um, I've never driven the vehicle, but I have, you know, I've watched a lot of video and, you know, motor trend video uh, on YouTube and everything like that. And when they've tested the M5 or the M or this M6 with the automatic or the with the manual transmission, they say that it's just it's not the same. You probably want to get this. It was built around the double clutch transmission. You'd probably want to stick with the double clutch transmission. Over here, they're talking about uh, choose your mode. Everyone has a personal preference when it comes to the drive controls. The M drive system lets you save two settings, right? These M buttons right here, M1, M2. So when you're feeling smooth and easy or active and feisty, your M6 can adjust with the touch of a button. Yeah, so you can do a every day, I want it, this is how I want to cruise most of the time button, and that could be your M1 setting. And then when you want to get sporty about the whole thing, then, you, then you've got your M2 setting. Or if you're hardcore, then you've got, you know, my street hardcore and then I'm about to tear somebody up hardcore on your M2 version. You know what I'm saying? I'd play with it. And when I get one, we'll do lots of videos on how you can do it. BMW is the best in the business. I mean, I hear that, that Porsche and Audi, their, their infotainment system and their clarity and all that stuff is really cool. But I've always been around BMWs. I'm a, I guess I'm a BMW fanboy to a degree. And, uh, yeah, look at the eye. The iDrive, I mean, BMW is the first with this whole iDrive thing. Everybody's followed suit. But, yeah, BMW navigation included as standard. It should for $120,000 MSRP, basically. Intuitive interface includes a responsive touchscreen. Oh, it's touchscreen as well. Very cool. Natural language understanding for maps and infotainment. So you can easily find anything from routes to radio stations. Here they talk about their heads-up display. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. And it's hard to kind of read this information on that background. They should have made that picture a little darker. Uh, get vital driving information and see what's coming with the optional heads-up display. Optional? Okay, well, we're going to get it. Don't worry about it. Natural uh, Navigation guidance, collision warnings, your speed and speed limits are projected directly onto the windshield so you can look ahead while keeping your eyes on the road. I remember I've had several BMWs over the years, and I remember taking a BMW in for service once, and I had a BMW... 435, I think, as a loner. And when I had the music on, also projected on, and I don't know if it's still the case with this car, so don't quote me on that. It also showed my music selection projected onto the screen as well, so I didn't have to take my eyes off the screen. They didn't mention it here, but maybe they only have so much space, so they just only put what they think is the performance stuff since it's the M6. I don't know. Um, let's see. Apple CarPlay. Right, we know about that. It's a subscription service with the first year free when you buy the car new. Uh, you can integrate your iPhone to the iDrive system, make calls, play music, ask Siri to read or send text messages, even use combat compatible apps while your phone is safely stowed away. I have actually used Apple CarPlay, not in a BMW, and I have uh, had Siri read text messages, and I've also uh, dictated tex uh, text messages aloud so Siri could text them and then send them, and it's actually pretty cool. You got to get used to it, but it's cool. Then there's the BMW Connected. Arrive on time with digital services of BMW Connected. Ask Amazon Alexis for trip details uh, and to ventilate your BMW. Hmm. The BMW Connected app will load your destination from your calendar, sync with BMW navigation, and notify you when it's time to roll. I like that. Here they're talking about the heart of every M car, which is the engine. Uh, High-pressure fuel injectors and how fast they spray fuel. Um, 
electronic control systems, adjust the timing and all that. They're not really saying anything. It's stuff that any engine would do, but, you know, they're just really pronouncing it, right? The standard stuff that every engine does. Every engine has cylinder pressure and combustion and precisely controlled. But, you know, it's an M car, and so it's all about the engine, and I get that. I'm not really downplaying it. And then here, though, because there's a couple of modules right here. You can see there's a couple of tabs right here. Then they're talking about BMW's patented cross-bank exhaust manifolds. Now, this is something we want to hear. They're mounted inside the valley, right? So making the engine a hot V, meaning that the turbos, back in the day, turbocharge, turbochargers were on the side. And now the uh, engine is a V. You got a V, it goes down here and then goes up here. The turbos are sitting in the middle. As a matter of fact, you can see one of the turbos right there. One of the turbos is sitting right there. Okay, so now you see it's sitting in the valley. That's what they mean. The shorter pipe length means more efficient airflow on the way to the turbochargers. I'm surprised they can keep the turbos cool sitting right in the middle of the engine. But anyway, everybody seems to be doing it now, or at least Mercedes is as well, because they were like the last holdout, I think. Um, combustion chamber arrangement, marrying the firing sequence ensures a consistent level of pressure acting on the two turbochargers without any, without any kind of counterflow for rapid turbine response, right? Your boost, you spool up faster too because there's not all that plumbing. So that's cool. Let's find out about the turbochargers. What are they going to say? Two twin, tur two twin power turbochargers placed between the cylinder banks breathe life into this engine. Cylinder groupings utilize alternate firing to allow constant exhaust flow, which directly translate into continuous turbocharging. All right. Now, ordering a BMW M6 Grand Coupe is easy, really. I mean, yeah, there's these packages here, but other than that, just pick the color and options you want. To keep the car's uh, sporty intentions, consider the competition package for its upgraded power and sharper handling and steering. If you're looking for more driver involvement, the manual transmission, although I'm not a real fan of, uh, is available no cost. Yeah, they should throw it at you if you really wanted it. The executive package and parking assistance packages are worthwhile upgrades, but you can skip the pricey carbon ceramic brakes unless you plan to visit racetracks regularly. So it says here the competition package adds eye-catching 20-inch wheels and sport exhaust with black chrome tailpipe. So you get blacked out wheels and your uh, exhaust tailpipes uh, are black as well. The competition package also includes a performance up upgrade that adds 40 horsepower, an increased steering ratio, race tune suspension, and more. I like the competition package. We're going to get the competition package on this vehicle. The executive package features high-class options like a power rear sunshade and rear side window shades, active front seats, the Bang & Olufsen so uh, sound system. That's why so many – I always was wondering – why so many Grand Coupes, M6 Grand Coupes, seem to have the Bang & Olufsen? Because in the M5, it's a standalone option because they bundle it in the executive package. That's why. Has it always been that way? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't doubt it. Um, the, heated fronts, uh, the heated steering wheel, front ventilated seats, heated rear seats are welcome amenities for those who pursue high performance in extreme climates. Yeah, I want all the comfort and all the conveniences. I want all of the, the luxury along with the performance. We'll also be getting the executive package. The driver assistance package adds the heads-up display. So, boom, we got to get that because if you've been on this channel and you should subscribe, then you know that I love heads-up display and digital speedometers. I have to say that every time. Uh, this package also features active driving assistant which includes lane departure warning, frontal collision warning, pedestrian warning, and city collision mitigation. Yeah, you got to have that safety tech too. It's all there. At this price point, if you've got hundred, if you've got one hundred twenty thousand dollars to spend, then I honestly think you can probably afford to option this car out the way that it should be. And if you don't know how to option it out, well, then we're going to do that in this video. Also, I am going to save this build summary. So if you like this build summary, download the PDF. It's in the description below right now. And then the M Drivers Package, um, take your M6 Grand Coupe to the track for a day-long high-speed driving course at BMW Performance Center. Yeah, I want that. I want to know how to throw it. I want to know everything there is to know about driving this car and driving it with a performance orientation. I want to understand it, not damage it, and extract the most out of it. So I like the M Drivers Package, too. Here's some quick specs. The 060, 4.1 seconds, we know. 
zero to sixty five hundred and six. I'm sorry, <laughs> horsepower five hundred and sixty horsepower. Uh, you're, <laughs> yeah, uh, four point four liter twin turbo V eight. Let's um, actually, we've already gone through the performance and the packages. Let's check the model specs, and then we can do the build your own. Okay, so let's just double check the features, right? Let's just double check the features of our Grand Coupe. So let's check. We're just going to go through each module, right? There's drive, there's appearance, there's technology, there's protection. So there's just four modules, and there's a couple of little bullets under each one. So what we're going to do is we'll start with drive and take a look at performance and efficiency, and then handling, ride, and braking. Under performance and efficiency, it's just basically giving us the engine, 560 horse. It's got an auto stop start function, brake energy regeneration, also known as KERS, if you like to watch Formula One type stuff. Um, electrically controlled engine cooling, uh, seven speed M clutch MCT transmission, MDCT transmission with drive logic, includes steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, right? Under handling and braking, no surprise, everything's all M, right? M. Power steering, M brakes, M dynamic driving controls, M active differential, uh, M chassis and suspension. You get the you get the picture. Under appearance for the first module, 2.1. There's exterior. I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to point out highlights for me, like the carbon fiber composite roof, hot, totally hot. Uh, the carbon fiber diffuser, the rear diffuser. Third bright. I like how the brake light is just right up at the top of the the back window, adaptive LED headlights, right? You get big wheels, right? 20 by 9 and a halfs in the front, 20 by 10 and a halfs in the back. That equates to 265, 35 up front, 295, 30s in the back. I like, I'd love to see some 305s back there. I wonder if you can squeeze 305s back there. Standard is the non-metallic paint, too, FYI. Hmm. Under interior seating and trim, uh, black carbon fiber interior, we know that is standard. The extended merino leather upholstery and door trim, that's all standard. Split fold down uh, through load rear seats is standard. 10-way power front M seats, standard. Uh, yeah, includes memory seat uh, system for driver's seat and outside mirror, two position. Under audio system, um, yeah, under audio system, you got that Harman Kardon is standard, 600 watt. And I'm sure this system bumps, but why not get the executive system or get the executive package and get all that other stuff you want and need anyway, and then get the Bang & Olufsen, right? Get the Bang & Oli, right? Uh, let's see, AM, FM, stereo, right? All standard stuff there. Under instrumentation and controls, rear view camera, dynamic cruise control, uh, advanced real-time traffic information, tire pressure monitor. This is the iDrive 6.0 system is what this is. Apple CarPlay with compatibility with a one-year trial. Uh, Three-spoke steering wheel, that's an M steering wheel, enhanced USB and Bluetooth, including mobile office features, message dictation available with optional third-party subscription after 60-day trial, drag and drive, hmm. messaging service provided by Nuance, interesting. Under comfort and convenience, you got that engine stop start, uh, rain sensing wipers, soft close automatic doors. Uh, four zone climate control, every occupant, because there's only two, the back seat has a thing in the middle. So really only four people can sit in this car. Everybody gets their own climate control. Um, let's see, park distance control, three stage heated front seats, wireless charging is standard, Wi-Fi hotspot included, 3G with a three month trial. They can keep that. <laughs> Dual front sun visors with illumination, yep. Electronic parking brake, yep, got that. Okay, for the last module, protection under safety and security, uh, they got a lot of stuff. Active knee protection, uh, adaptive brakes, programmable LED daytime running lights, active front headrests, driver and passenger front airbag supplemental restraint system, right, SRS. Um, Anti-theft alarm system, BMW remote services, uh, and then what do we got here under warranty? Let's just knock out warranty real fast. 12-year unlimited mileage, rust perforation, limited warranty. Four-year 50,000-mile new vehicle limited warranty for passenger cars and a four-year unlimited mileage uh, roadside assistance program. All right, you know what? Let's check a couple more specs because I want to see some engine numbers, and then we're going to do the building price. More specs, more specs, more specs. Okay, so... Car makes 552 horsepower. They said 560, didn't they? 
On the thing, it said 560. Now it's changed by 8 horsepower. All right. Well, anyway. And it makes 502 pound-feet of torque at 1,500 RPMs all the way up to almost 6,000 RPM. Car is a beast. Car is a beast. Uh, weighs 4,300 pounds. Well, that's, that's the displacement. It doesn't weigh 4,300 pounds. Um, let's see. Performance. With the manual transmission, you, you lose two-tenths of a second. Um... Combined fuel economy is 17 miles to the gallon combined. Uh, the manual has 15 miles to the gallon in the city, 22 miles to the gallon on the highway. The automatic, the DCT transmission, gets 16 miles to the gallon combined. It gets 14 city, 20 highway, and it's got a basically a 21-gallon fuel tank. Uh, let's check the exterior dimensions. The length is 197.5. That's about the length of a Dodge Charger. Just for point of reference, weighs about 4,400 pounds. Uh, ground clearance, 4.3 inches, pretty low to the ground as well. To be expected, of course. Headroom, 40.6 inches. Leg room, 42.1 in the front, 35.3 in the back. Shoulder room, actually not so bad, 56.7 up front and 54.6 in the back. All right, well, we found out everything we want to know. Let's go to the building price and actually build this thing. What color do we want? They don't have a huge palette selection, and, and actually, you know what? That's fine. You know what? I want to do the car in black. I want to do the car in black. I hardly ever say black, but I want to do this car in black. Black, black, black. Black, sapphire, metallic. I wish they just had the non-metallic, but that's fine. Black, sapphire, metallic. It is. Let's move on to wheels. Okay, so for wheels, we've got these 20-inch M double-spoke black gloss wheels. Um, here are the competition package wheels with non-run flat tires. And then what size are those? They're all 20-inch wheels. I know I want the competition package. so And I really wish they had run flat tires on these, but it's all good. I want the competition package. I'm sure when I select this competition package wheel, it's going to probably make me want to do a package. Let's see. Yes, it does. Other available competition wheels. Oh, all right. So I can get these. Wait, your selection requires some changes. Competition package, yeah, at $7,000. Yeah, there it is. I was just reading this other stuff. At $7,000, yes, we are going to do that. And then when we get to the page that talks about packages, we'll go over the competition package one more time so we know everything that comes in it. All right, so add and continue. Now we got those bad boy wheels. Let's move on to upholstery. Okay, so right now, what's this? Uh, let's scroll this. So black extended merino leather. What is this? This is the black full merino leather. Well, I want the full merino leather. This bad boy is going to be all midnight. right? This car's name is going to be midnight. Let's just call this car midnight because this is going to be all black. right? Full black merino leather, black, uh, black sapphire metallic on the outside. Um, we're at 100,000. We're at 130,400. Let's move on to trim. That's easy. We want to go with the carbon fiber. I want the carbon fiber. I want this car to be all performance oriented. I want all the luxury too, but I also want all the performance orientation. I want no doubt about it that this car is all about performance and speed, right? All about performance and speed. Okay, on to packages. All right, competition package, right? Just so we know, we've got an upgrade of 40 horsepower. So now we've got 600 horsepower. We've got an enhanced sport suspension, a sport exhaust with black chrome tailpipes, and a flare to the exterior. Oh, all right. So there's, a, there's some tweaks there. There's some tweaks. It's not just, okay, that works. Competition package, $7,000 option. Happy to have it. Um, the driver assistance package. That's got my heads-up display in there, active blind spot, speed limit info, driver, active driving assist. This is all stuff you need. I'm not scrimping on this car. We are not scrimping. Uh, the executive package, what is in it? The Bang & Olufsen, uh, the power rear sunshade. I need all that stuff. Active front seats, heated rear seats. I want it. All right, so we got that. And then last but not least, there's the parking assistance package. That's just $500, and that gives you the side and top view cameras. I'll take it. Let's do that. Wrap that up. All right, let's go over to options and see what options there are. Okay, we're on the options page. Um, what do we want? What do we want? 
what do we want? I want, do they show us a picture? Oh, we can scroll through photos. We can scroll through photos. Let's scroll through photos then. Let's, let's go back. Um, I don't want the manual transmission. I'm buying all in. I want the M carbon ceramic brakes. Large 16-inch front rotors. Uh, they reduce, they shave 42 pounds off the car compared to conventional brakes. Long life design includes brake pads expected to last two to three times longer and rotors expected to last three to four times longer. And then they have a disclaimer, dependent on conditions and usage. I won't be too hard on mine. I live in an area where I'm not far from a racetrack that I could go out and drive this thing around. I'm getting the M carbon ceramic brakes. And even if I moved, I'd still be by some place where there's going to be a track. The M driver's package where you can go learn this vehicle. Yes, I want that for $2,500. Uh, the black kidney grills, I want that. Let's just click that over. Yes, I want that because our car's name is Midnight. Carbon fiber mirror caps, yes. Carbon fiber spoiler, yes. Stainless steel sport pedals, yes. I think we're at the end of the road. Let's back up out of this. Oh, there's one other thing to get. Night vision with pedestrian detection. I hardly ever see any BMWs with it on it. I want the technology on my M6 Grand Coupe competition package. Loaded. Called Midnight. All right. There it is. Let's go to the summary. We got every... Oh, Black Kidney Grills. I thought we selected that. Let me... Boom. Let me select that. All right, it keeps knocking down this page. Hold on, and it doesn't have the night vision uh, with pedestrian detection. I thought we selected that as well. Let me take care of that. Ah, I get it. You can't do both. You can't have the black kidney grills with the night vision with pedestrian detection. Aha, now I see why some of them don't have the night vision. Decisions, decisions. I need to make one, don't I? I need to make one. The decision was I wanted the black kidney grills. Right, check it out. Here, here's the black. Here's here's it with the black kidney grills. Right now, let me show you what it looks like if I get the the pedestrian detection is really cool. But here's what the here's what the grill looks like with the pedestrian detection. That's what the grill looks like, and that's fine and everything. But you know what? For as much as I might use that technology for everything I just said, and as much as I want it, I want this car a particular way, and I'm gonna get it the exact way that I want it, and I want it completely, completely blacked out, so we're getting the black kidney grills. All right, so now we're back to, now we're back to black. Let's go to summary. There it is. Okay, 2019 M6 Grand Coupe competition, carbon ceramics, got every piece of carbon fiber. I basically threw every option at this bad boy. It's loaded. $152,000. 20 miles to the gallon <laughs> all around. I don't care about the gas mileage, man. I don't care about the gas mileage. There's all our carbon fiber. Look at that car. It's gorgeous. 119, it was $120,000. We added $30,000 in options, and it was worth every dime. Worth every dime. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to print out this summary. Where is it at? I'm going to print out and save this summary. So that way, and then I'm going to upload it to my file sharing site that I use called Mediafire. And then when I do that, it's going to give me a link that I can share with you. So if you like this build of this M6 Grand Coupe, then check the description below the video and you can uh, grab the PDF to this build. OK, but you can't call yours midnight because mine is going to be called midnight. All right. Other than that, we are done. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you've made it to the end, you're awesome. Seriously, please like, share and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to keep turning out great content. Other than that, you have